Good morning. If you here is searching how to put pistons and all the seals and the rubber boots back into a bongo dual piston caliper like this one, first of all, sorry you became a bongo fan. They're lovely vehicles, but a big headache. Anyway. There ain't many people on YouTube showing you how to do things you need to know how to do. So here's a very crude video by myself. Uh, I hate editing, so it will be crude. Uh, and this is how to put the seal in a bongo brake caliper. This is one I've done earlier. <laughs> and if I put that one to the side and we're safe. Here's one that is half done. So hopefully, if I check my viewfinder, you can see the process. So first of all, you need to have put the square, see if that's going to be any light there, see if we can shed some light on it. <clears throat> First of all, you need to have put the seal in the inside. Maybe I can see the black square seal. Now that is the actual seal around the piston which creates the pressure. You need to apply the brakes. There we are, lovely. Okay, then you need to grab your reconditioned or new piston, whatever you've got. <coughs> Excuse me, should have prepared this earlier, shouldn't I? So, there's your new piston, now you need to apply some red rubber grease, should come with some type of grease, the kit, if you've bought a new one, if it hasn't, if you haven't bought a new one, you recondition in the old ones, get some red rubber grease, it's meant for brake cylinders that kind of thing. Okay, Let's set that aside so we cleanish. I like wipe my hands. Should be wearing gloves but posting this video quite early in the morning before I go to work. So in a bit of a rush. Get your seal which you could also use the rubber grease on some people advise to use brake fluid. I believe the viscosity being very much thinner kind of helps the installation process. Make sure there's a little bit of brake fluid on the groove where the dust boot sits and you put the dust boot over your cylinder the correct way around and it will slip into the groove at the top of the piston like so but you don't want to dig it, so you want to take it out of there and slip it further down. So you slip it further down until this portion of the dust boot protrudes over the bottom of the cylinder. 
now you've got to try and get that into the groove in there without this getting in the way of falling off so you place the bottom in first and one side very difficult to see but they're actually in and then you hold your cylinder at a bit of an angle to try and hold that bottom part in and then try and encourage the rest of the boot into the groove now if you're good at doing this like some mentioned on some bongo Facebook pages it should only take a few minutes I however am not very good at doing it I believe no I haven't No, there's no way to tell very easily that you've got it in all the way round. So, with a bit of love and a prayer, doesn't seem to be seating oh there we are and then as you push it in the top groove the rubber will fit into the top groove and then as you push it right in if you can see the rubber is sitting nice and flat with all the pleats in the right places and there's no kinks then it's likely it's sitting in the right place. Hope you can see this clearly on the video. Hope this helps some because it took me a very long time to find the right method and I couldn't find anything suitable on YouTube that would help me. So I hope this helps you guys. Ciao.